Hi Floss Tube, welcome back. Um, thanks for being here. My name is Kiara Osborne. Um, I come to you from Springdale, Arkansas. Still in our rental, we haven't closed yet. Our closing got moved. Uh, we'll talk about that later. But anyway, today is May the 4th. May the 4th be with you for all my Star Wars friends. Um, this is Floss Tube number six. I'm going to try to not be so long-winded today. We shall see. Um, since this is the most adult conversation I get all week. Um, so that's a little bit about me. Um, let's start off by the hashtag under 1000 subs club. Um, of course, I'm under 1000. But let me first say thank you so much. In the past week, I've gotten... A huge amount of subscribers considering how new I am I guess people are just finding me but way more than I thought I was gonna get so that's really exciting but I'd like to shout out um, two people that I find I've watched both their vi um, their videos and I really enjoy them and please go back and see who else I've recommended because there's a lot of people out there that could use the little boost to go a little higher um, and it's a great way to support one another um, number one is sewing Sam and I think I love her I love accents so <laughs> um, that could be why I like her um, she I believe she said she lived in Germany um, but she's got two videos she posts monthly and it she's got just got great work that she's doing and then the other one is stitches of sass I think her name's Jessica. She's she, she's in part of the round robin with um, Janet Jabber and Stacy C Stitches, and I should know that because Stacy shouted me out last week, um, which is awesome. So thank you, Stacy, for that. Um, and I was I'm taking part of Stacy's patriotic May frenzy, but I'm like um, I'm really bad at that right now i lost something i did a giveaway and i can't find the pattern so let me oh i know how we can do it till i find the pattern i just moved it off the table uh, because it, i'm like that i'm sorry i'm so scattered today and i said i lost the pattern but i was behind a piece of paper so i have the pattern now <laughs> Oh, guys, it's one of those days. You ever have those days? I've had one of those days, okay? Ah, so, deep breath. Cup of coffee. Had to go get coffee today. Um, okay, so I told you about my two under 1,000 sub club people. I will link them below. Please go watch, sub like, subscribe. It just helps all of us. Um, so then I saw this in somebody else's video and I loved it. <laughs> so I'm stealing it and I don't even remember whose video it is. You know, like I said, it's been one of those days. <laughs> so it's about people that we're friends with that don't know we're friends. You know, like those people we stalk. Yeah, I got a couple of those. Um, <laughs> not in a scary way, but I just love watching them. Um, number one is one of the first people I started watching on Floss Tube. I'm a new stitcher. I only, I've only been stitching since about uh, between June and August of last year. And a couple of the first people I discovered were Mary Ashcraft and Crystal Rowe. So I consider them my, my friends. And then Candace K got me in trouble. Candace K kept mentioning this semi-sane stitchers group, so I joined. So I'm taking part in a couple of their fun challenges this month. Um, I'm following the May focus piece. I haven't started my May focus piece. We'll get onto that later. Um, and then the other thing was they have like a Wheel of Fortune game. I should never go on Wheel of Fortune. It took me about five tries to get a letter. So had a lot of penalty stitches. Um, then there's Brenda and Laura, Brenda and the Serial Starter. I wanna be like them when I grow up. 
Then of course there's Priscilla and Chelsea, another set of people I wanna be like when I grow up. And then I love Betsy Klager. She, I seriously wanna be her when I grow up. She's funny, she's down to earth, just everything that you wanna be. And then my last one is, I wanna be Nicola from Nic Nicola's Needleworks and Hands Across the Sea. She's just, I mentioned her the last time, she just, She's just so calming. I like watching her. So that's um, people I'm friends with that don't know I'm friends with them. Okay. And then let's just right away, you know what, go to my whips. Okay. Let's do whips. I had a few whips this week. I was a little bit more monogamous, but I had some whips. So... I pulled this one out. Um, this is a Meg Silhouette. I have a bunch of these. I bought them on Etsy. It's from Abby Sue Designs. Um, and this is Meg from Hercules. Now, this takes time because there's a lot of blending and stuff, but I'm really, really pleased with how this is coming out. Um, should be go pretty quick, but the hair and like the skin tones and even the dress. It's got a lot of different um, tones in it to make it look realistic. And but and then it's got a lot of backstitch. See all the backstitch? Yeah, but I love it. She makes me happy. And I have, I think I have Anna and I have, I showed you before I have Merida, but I like these. And once I start getting my Disney art out in the new house, you'll see why I was drawn to these. Um, okay, so that's one. And then I worked on my Land of the Free from Stitching with the Housewives. Here's the pattern. Everybody's seen this. This is one of their tiered tray tidbits. I didn't finish it. I wanted to finish by April 30th, but not happening. I think if I use this uh, material, oh, oh where's, it has a needle hanging out of it. I don't want to lose the needle because it's threaded. I think if I use this count again, I think I'm going to try one strand instead of two strands because I think this is like a 22 count, a 20 or a 22 count. Um, so I really like how it's coming. I got to finish the two houses and the grass. I am off one stitch so I'm gonna have to play with the grass I think I believe my pole is one extra stitch so I'll have to fudge it because I'm not pulling it out and nobody would notice except anybody else who stitched it and it's gonna be in my house and nobody I know stitches so it's okay but I really like this but I think if I use this one again and I'm I'm probably gonna I'm because I really love how the coffee tea dyeing on this. And somebody asked me how I coffee tea dye, and I'll go into that a little bit. Um, and what if, if anybody's interested, I can do a quick tutorial or film myself doing it once I move into my new house, because currently in my rental, my stove is not working. So I can't coffee tea dye and I can't uh, rip dye anything because I have no oven. So that's another one I worked on a little bit. I haven't touched it this week, but that's okay. Now where did I put these? I put these right here. Um, then for Blackbird Designs Weekend, hosted by Brenda and Laura, um, I picked my pattern. It comes from Souvenirs of Summer. Um, I got mine from Crazy Annie's um when i saw it um this is the one i'm doing um and hold on i just want to get to the chart i want to see something i'm trying to see if it says what um oh okay yeah it does i am using this fabric that I dyed myself, it's a 16, it's a, I believe it's a 16 count. 
I don't know what I did with the piece of paper, but I believe it's a 16 count. I gave my daughter my thread gauge, so I have no idea. So this is what I have done so far. And part of the, and I'm using Weeks Dye Works Turkish Red, and I love that. I love this combination. And I think if um, it all goes well, I'm going to be able to, um, I'm gonna find like a white vintagey frame to put it in or on or mount it somehow. But I had done a little bit, and then uh, since I'm playing Letters of Fortune, I think it's called, and semi sane Stitchers, and I got a letter wrong, I had to do 100 stitches. So all this um, to here in the M was 100 stitches. So I may try to get the M finished and then put it away till next month, but it's a, it's a breeze to stitch. I love this. Um, depends on how quick I want to do it and how I get with other projects. But I like, I love this. This is so pretty. And the Blackbird Weekends, at least I know that they're going to be here. And I didn't get more done because my parents are visiting from New York. So I had to do some driving this weekend because my daughter went to visit her cousin. My littlest went to visit her cousins um, down south of us um then let me talk um okay so i was going to show you my whip go board but i printed it out and i didn't bring it so i'll tell you about whip, whip go whip go is that from jesse marie does stuff it's a way to work on your whips um so two numbers were called this month and one of mine was to do heartstring sampler samplery a heartstring samplery whip and the other one was to do um, a pumpkin spice whip by, I think it's Cherry Hill. I'll, when I pull it out, I'll tell you. Um, the heartstring samplery, and most of my whips, unless they say to fully finish or get to a certain point, my um, goal is five days stitching on the project. Well, I will start with the pumpkin spice one because this is one of the first patterns I started ever and this is the pattern okay and I'm not using the call for colors I'm using colors that I had because I've had this um I had this pretty um fabric and I wanted to do it so I have pumpkin spice and I have the and I need to finish everything nice and the pumpkins in the border. My pumpkins, there's something wrong with them. I remember that, but I don't remember what's wrong with them. So I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit upset because I don't remember what the problem was with them. But it's okay. I'm not in love. I don't know. I like it, but I don't love it. Maybe I'll feel better once it's done. So I did a little bit of stitching on that. My goal for my whip go is to finish this, but it's not calling to me. So I don't know how much stitching is gonna get on it this month. Plus with the moving and everything. Okay, and the second thing was um, to work on heartstring samplery pattern. So I am currently working on, and if you follow me on Instagram, this one's been talking to me a lot and it's Amazing Grace. And I've showed this one before, but wait till you see how much is done on it. So I told you I stink at Wheel of Fortune kind of things. Well, I had to, I had a lot of penalty stitches. This is like 400 penalty stitches, okay? So I am now just doing the bottom border. So I feel a finish coming. So I think I might concentrate on this a little bit this week. I haven't even, I was working on this a little bit on, on Sunday and I didn't even work on my Jesse Watson, which I usually do on Sampler Sunday. So, and I'm keeping this in my, one of my fat quarter shop bags. I have enough. I'm gonna, keep, this is gonna be my heartstring samplery bag because it's big 
and it's got a heart on it. Good idea, right? Because I'm doing all these Sunday stitches. In here I also have started um, another one and I have two more on the way with all the floss. So I'm going to be working on these. But I think after I finish the two that I started, I'm gonna do the ones that call me first. I think a pattern has to call you. Just one of those things. Um, okay, and then And then, because today is May the 4th, and I I actually got a number, number, oh God, Lord, um, because I got a letter right finally in, in Letters of Fortune, I decided since today was May the 4th, we needed a Star Wars start. So I am going to put my required 450 stitches in here and then see how I feel because where I'm stitching, the way this pattern is, you'll see, I really felt that a center start was the way to go. Okay, and here it is. This was the pattern that was in my Mandalorian box from Forbidden Fiber. Okay, and because I couldn't figure out how to measure from the corner to really do a corner start, I decided to do a center start. So this is where I am. And this is on the fabric provided in the box. So this is where I am. And this is on a 14 count Ada. And the color that they have for this is tumbleweed. Though I probably could have not started this in the center of this. I probably could have measured and then cut the fabric and then didn't because this is a really pretty color. So, it, I got the word the, a bunch of the stitches. I still have to go out further and I'm on the L in Mandalorian. Okay, but guys, you have to see this. This is gonna look so awesome because Okay, and I usually do the loop start, but when I get into the, this is the way, these are the flosses that came with it, but you saw it said Mandalorian and then this is the way. This is the, this is the floss that they want. And I actually think I'm going to do this, pull the two strips, cause I, I almost always do the loop method but I think I'm gonna do this the traditional way and pull the strands and then go that route to get the most variegation for that piece. But it's a quick stitch. The pattern's really nice. Um, I have it on my computer because when I printed it, the grid lines didn't print. So I have it on my computer. I have to figure out um, how to get the pattern onto my Kindle. So I can just use my Kindle to do the patterns, some of these other patterns that way. I have been debating getting a new iPad to do it that way, but I have a Kindle. So um, if anybody knows and can tell me, that would be great. So I'm really liking this. And then I, ha I joined the focus challenge for semi-sane stitchers too. And I'm supposed to be doing this, and it's part of my May Patriotic Frenzy. Um, it's the Michael's Prayer. I did decide on my fabric. I decided to go with this coffee tea dyed. I think it's a 14 count. I, I'm 90% sure I'm gonna go with this one and grunge it up a little, since it's grunged up a little bit. Because I really like it. Um, and I'll eventually start it. I mean, my goal is just to get it done by September. Um, so that's that. Those are all my whips. I have no finishes. You know, you guys had a finish last week. Can't really expect me to finish something else. And this one's in my Lakeside Lake House Stitch Company bag. I like that bag. Most of my other bags are just generic things bought off Amazon. 
Um, so let's do the giveaway. Um, and then I'll show you guys my haul and talk plans. If you didn't notice, I do have that patriotic quilt on my long arm. I have to wind some bobbins and figure things out on it. So that's going to be getting done. It has to be done before I move. So I got to work on that. Excuse me. So thank you everybody for all the kind comments and all the people who wanted to win this. I have no idea how to edit. I was able to figure out the random comment thing, but I have no idea how to edit a video. That's one of my goals. Once I get set up in my house with my computer um, and not my laptop, I prefer a desktop. I'm half blind, half, and I like, I do a lot of genealogy and stuff. So I like a bit and video and I know how to edit on my, on a regular computer. Um, I have a hard time on my laptop. I'm old guys. I'm going to be 50. So, you know, I grew up without computers and they became popular. I do my best. So I want to say congrats to, and please forgive me if I butcher your name, Michelle D. Bertolekin. I can't read my handwriting, but I will post it down in the comments and I will tag your comment. Um, and so since I'm at 206 or 207 subscribers, I will do another giveaway when I get to 250 and then at 500, 750 and a thousand, I'll do a really big one. Um, but I'm excited. So thank you. And Michelle, I, I am just, I will please me, um, message me here or Instagram. I'm Kiara DVO. And I will comment it to get us in touch with one another. Um, okay, so let's do haul. So I got this awesome koala bag from the 805 Stitcher. And I just thought it was cute. I really like the fabrics. And, you know, you can I can make my own, but... I like to support small business and as much as I can make my own, I don't want to. Good enough reason, right? <laughs> um, then let's see what else. Oh, I've got all kinds of stuff. Uh, okay. Then I got another order from Vintage Needle Arts. They're on Etsy. I got some more. I needed Bing Cherry for a reason. Do you think I know why I needed Bing Cherry? Nope. I gotta start writing down when I order something why I ordered it. I wonder if... So I, I got Bing Cherry and then I... Did... I have... This is a 16 count mist, Misty Morning. Real Pale Blue. And then... Oh, the blues I got were because I signed up for the Mystery Stitch Along from Fat Quarter Shop. I don't remember what the name of it is. I'm really bad today. But I don't know if I want to do it till it's all done. I signed up for the Halloween one last year and I finally started it in January because it was a WIFCO number. So, oh, and but I bought the flosses for that one. And I'll just use them for something else. And then I, this one's really nice. This is another 16 count caramel cream. I really like this one. And then what I did is she had a couple of these smaller pieces. They're like seven by 17 and a half. And I have all these stitching with the housewives, um, like the tiered tray tidbits and stuff. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the black. I can stitch on it. It's just... I'm not always a big fan of that, but I like stitching on other things. And I thought these littler um, pieces would be great for ornaments and such. So I've gotten a couple of that. This one is an 18 count Swiss Miss. It's a, it's a gray taupey color. And then this one is toffee. 
And they're cheaper prices and they're a great way to see if you actually like the color, in my opinion. It's my opinion, you know, everybody's got one. Then, okay, we'll do this one last. This is, um, this is another kit from Forbidden Fiber. So I'll do this one last and put a spoiler alert in. Okay. I also, okay. Then I ordered from the local needle workshop. There are a couple of Arkansas stitches and everybody said that this was, um, the best needle workshop here. There's not one near me. From what I understand, there's this one and then there's one in Tulsa. And I think Tulsa might be a little bit closer to me where I am than this store in Little Rock. But this place is called the Shepherd's Needle. So I needed, um, I'm not sure that I have enough Turkish red to finish that America. Even though they say it's one skein of five yards, for some reason, I my threads never last the way they are. So I really like Turkish red, so I got two more of those. And you know, floss cannot travel alone. So I saw this this pattern and I really liked it. So I ordered it. It's Barbara Anna, Long May She Wave, and it's such a fun pattern. So I decided it had to travel with my floss. And then I was walking around and I did a few more of these um, little cuts of fabric. So there's this one. And isn't this cute how it's packaged? This is a 14 count and it's 7.5 by 8.5. And it's a picture, oh, it's picture of this plus L. And look at this. Oh, it's got to be more than 8 by 5. Maybe it's 18.5. Yeah, maybe it's got to be 18.5. Look at that. I have, you know, somewhere I have an America chart, America the Beautiful chart or Stars and Stripes. And I think it would fit on that. I'll have to see because that, that would be great. And this is a great color. Oh, but I'm remembering now, Picture This Plus is not one of my favorites because it's super soft. I don't like super hard, but super soft sometimes when you put it in a hoop doesn't stretch the way I want it to. But this is nice. I like this. Oh, and then I got this one. This is um, Witchelt 14 Count Confederate Gray. It's not green, that's showing green. Got it. And I know it's just the bag. These are great, especially for like the Rosens things. I mean, that way the, the things all cut out. And I have to get my serger sur uh, serviced. So this is great. And then I got another 14 count and this is a nine by nine. And I know I probably have a pattern that'll just fit on that perfectly. But I thought it was a great way to try different things. And then I received an order from Forbidden Fiber with some more of their delicious fiber in it. I don't need that. It's my garbage can. And I haven't even opened this, guys, and now I can't find the, where it opens. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm just gonna take these out. Oh, how cool. Look at the cute little lapel pin they sent. Oh, and then we got some thread drops. When I unpack, I'm going to make some thread drops because I have a laminator and I thought by um, laminate, laminating them a little bit that would, um, and then poking the holes in them, that would give, um, I 
that would give them some body to stand up to time. Okay, I'm um, number one. I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna show you these, and then I'll show them individually. Look at those. Look at those colors. Okay, so. Heartfelt, Honeydew, look at this, Jack-o-lantern, Winter Wheat, Stone, Purple Rain, Dark Cherry, Burn, English Rose. Okay, hold on, let me put those down. Look at the ladybug, that's a gorgeous red. Vintage Ornament, Brick, Indigo, Pistachio, Powder, Tawny, Mermaid, oh my god. Okay, hold on, you guys have to see Mermaid. Look at the, I don't know if you can see it, but the variegation in that one, that's gorgeous. Okay, I don't know why I ordered this one, but highlighter that's some neon yellow going for you there um rose hip sage move my friction pen out of the way and atmosphere i like that one so those were an order i had and i think my my um just floss um, kit is coming. Okay, so I received my, okay, spoiler alert. If you don't wanna see the Fight Like a Girl kit from Forbidden Fiber, speed up about four or five minutes. Okay, so here's the kit and this is how it came, a cute little sticker. Not giving anything away there because that was on their website. And then then we got a cute little bag. I like that bag. And it's got a cute little zipper pull. I'm dumping everything out. Okay, the pattern, I am gonna stitch this. this the, I like this and I think my oldest would really like it. Um, this is the pattern. Some women are lost in the fire. Some women are built for it. I like that. That is awesome. Um, and then we got, I, I'm in the Ada Club and this is an Ada called Rose Petal. Look at the modeling on that. That is really, really nice. And then we have... Oh. Um, an order about their neck... A thing about their next kit. Um, this is the fiber club that I belong to, the Just Flossing from them. I enjoy it. I'm really enjoying their um, thing. Oh, we got a nail file. Um, the pattern, the embroidery threads, which we'll get to in a sec. Oh, I like this needle. This is something they do that's really, really great. They're needle minders. They have a thing here, but they also can be necklaces. 
which is really, really kind of cool. Let's see if my big fingers, and that's the needle minder. How cool is that? And it comes in a cute little bag. And then let's look at the fiber. I love there. I don't know how many of these were exclusive colors. Let me, do I have, okay, I have glasses on my head so I can see. Oh, okay. All of the colors here were created for this box, which is awesome. I'm trying to keep all my things for this together because then if I want a project, it's all together. Okay, we got a, it's called coal. Okay, where's my paper? Coal. Oh, lip stain. Pineapple, I really like that yellow. When I was doing that typography, that yellow would have been perfect. <clears throat> um, Fight Like a Girl, which is a variegated. And then Desire. So seriously, guys, if you're not in any of their clubs, I did order another one of their boxes. Um, like the, I believe it's like the Mandalorian box and what the Gilmore Book Girl box was. Um, it's a Bridgerton box. I have never even seen Bridgerton, but I figured at the very least, I'll love the fiber in it and the fabric. So even if I didn't use it for those projects, it would um, make me happy. Okay. So, and then they have another one coming, but you'll have to wait and see for them and or go on their website and see. So that is all my haul. Um, I have a couple other things that are coming, but they weren't here. So I have to organize all this floss onto one of my things. Um, so let's talk plans. So my plans are to finish my 450 stitches on my Mandalorian. I would really like to finish my Amazing Grace. Um, I would also like to finish the um, Stitching with the Housewives pattern because there's really not that much there. But life, we're scheduled to close on Monday. So I don't know how much um, is realistic at this point. I have to fin I have to long arm that quilt. So really, I'm not sure. And my parents are here. They're staying with my aunt and uncle. So I don't know how much is really realistic to do. And I, but I want to do. So a um, couple things. I yes, I had a couple comments, and I'm so glad everybody likes my quilting. And I will continue to share it. I'm totally self taught with everything I've done. Um, I have several different machines. Right now I'm currently using my Juki, most of all. It's just a straight stitch. It's um, the 2000 QI. I didn't feel the need to pay the money for the speed lever because I learned how to um, sew and control speed with my foot. So the one thing I do love about the Jukis is that you can cut your thread with the foot pedal. Um, my other favorite machine is a Juki QVC 2000, which as soon as I, I think my machines got knocked around in the move. So I need them all serviced with the exception of the straight stitch machine because I bought the state straight stitch machine here. So it, there's no need for it to be serviced, but I decided I'm not getting anything serviced till we move into the new house because I don't want things to get knocked around again. So that's that. Um, as far as the coffee tea dyeing and the dyeing, I started, I'll tell you a little bit about how I started. I started by watching videos on YouTube. I watched um, Priscilla and Chelsea's and then I watched a couple of other ones. And then I kind of combined them and saw what other people were doing and what they weren't doing. Um, when I coffee tea dye, I, bring my, I make my water, I start, start heating my water and then I put in, I buy the little, um, from Walmart, the little instant great value or whatever the cheap brand is of coffee and whatever the cheap brand of tea bags are because that's not something that we use in my house. So I pour about half of it in. 
I start with at least 10 tea bags. Sometimes I use 20. I have a big pasta pot. Um, and then I use a metal pan. I use like a metal sheet pan, cheap cookie sheet from Walmart. Um, I line my, I line my pans with tin foil because I don't want them getting stuck on the pan itself. And while I'm cooking the fabric, I have my oven heating up. And then I just keep, um, while it's in there, I stir it several times. I cook my fabric for about 40 minutes in the pot, 20 to 40 minutes. And I keep looking at it to make sure that it's a color I like. Um, it's all trial and error. And then I put it in my oven and I keep it in the oven at least 30 to 40 minutes. And I don't have, um, hold on, where was the product that I had? Here, I can show it on this one, I haven't done anything. Now this one I don't keep in as long. That I'm primarily talking about white or cream Ada bases. Um, and if you're doing linen or anything else, you you have to play with it because every fabric takes color and dye and coffee differently. Okay, this was a blue or green fabric. I don't even know because I don't have it. Okay, it must have been the blue. Okay, and this was just a quick dunk, maybe four or five minutes tops, but it baked for the same amount of time. You see, I like the darker bits and this I crinkle as much as I can. Um, just like when I writh dye, I writh dye in as small as containers as I can because I love the modeling. Um, so that's all, it's, it's just a matter of playing and if you do, if it's too light for you, dip it back in. Um, do another coffee tea dye on it. On it. Um, Lori Holt, I watched hers, but I didn't really like that method where she, she did it with the tea bags after and just like on a flat surface. Um, if you're up for that, hey, go ahead. Um, but that just was not something I was comfortable with. But, and I didn't rinse my, st I don't rinse every, I rinsed the writ dye, but I did not rinse coffee tea dye because you're just gonna wash it out in my opinion. And it, everything is trial and error I'm learning. So you start with a method you like and then you just keep going on from there. What I will do is when I coffee tea dye the next time, I will write instructions on how I did it. So if you wanted to follow those, you could. Um, but that's all I've got today. And I went on way longer than I thought I was going to. So thank you for stopping by. Please like this video, um, subscribe, share the love. And if you have a floss tube, I would love to check you out. Please post it below. Thanks a lot. Bye guys.